promote the gospel. So, my faith is everything for me. I wouldn't have done any of these things without God. I wouldn't have um, even had the sanity of mind to go through the process without God. I don't even know how people who do not know God go through any process in life. So, I can attribute everything that I ever achieved. In, in fact, it's not even my achievement. It's God's achievement. See, I'm just a vessel that He used um, to achieve those. And the only thing I can do is to say, yes, Lord, and go through the process and be willing. Mm, so, most definitely, any anything at all that you put your mind to it is possible yes. because mm-hmm. you have to speak the word and act on it as well so it's yes. Yes. You act on it as well and then you watch God yes. work in your life yes um, there's this um, story that I heard that some, I'm not sure about the story but they said that some Muslims will say that assalamu alaikum to the devil on the left side assalamu alaikum to the angel on the right side meaning peace to the devil peace to the angel I'm going to be neutral but God does not like um, lukewarm people either you're hot or you're cold so for your faith to work for you you have to be in truth be do it in truth and in spirit not being neutral saying yes to the world and as well saying yes to God and merging everything together so you have to be decisive focused make up your mind um, for you to be able to achieve what God has planned for you or your destiny no, Dr. Morel, um I don't think you really agree with me with this one but you know one thing that I've noticed is the more busier you are uh, it's the more you get things done. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. Because then you're in the process. You, you are engaged. Uh, some people, when they wake up in the morning, they have to go through so many routines, like fix their bed, brush their teeth, arrange everything before they can even start the day. So, um, But when you are in the process already, you're engaged already, it's easy for you to continue because you're already in the in the ball. The ball is rolling already. So I, I, I perfectly agree with you. Yeah. And, you know, it depends on how you use the 24 hours that you have in your day. You know, everybody yes. uses your 24 hours differently. I think every 24 hours that you get is a gift. Do you agree with me, Doc? Yes, I do. It's true. That is very true. It's how we react. So I, re- I manage our time that matters, not the amount of time we have in the day. Doctor, I know that you have said quite a bit. But one more thing I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to specifically speak to two groups of people. You know, there's a group of people which are nurses, especially those who come from different categories as well. You know, you have that category of nurses who have just graduated from nursing school. You have another category who are thinking about entering the nursing. And you have another category who are, you know, persons who have come from overseas and want to enter into the field of nursing and they're finding it quite difficult. So I'm going to allow you right now and just speak some words of additional encouragement apart from what you have already given us. Thank you. Okay. So, like, like I say, first of all is talking to yourself and telling yourself that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. For those that are trying to go into nothing, nothing is hard, but people do it. Um, people that graduated from nothing school do not have to.